Of course, go ahead. Just interrupt that. Uh, does it play on your side? Can you see those slides? Uh, yes. Okay. How is KITP? Oh, that's good. You move layer permanent permanently? No, just for 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 this semester. You know, it's uh, the the graduate fellow program. Yeah. Maybe I'll promote you as a faculty member there. <laughs> <laughs> So there is a conservation law that uh, even less people attending the seminar means that there are more people watching on YouTube. So don't worry, which means you will get less question on life, but uh, your work will still deserve as much attention as you should. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I, I usually also will, will watch the CMSA talk on YouTube. That's a... Uh... Yeah, it's kind of more convenient. Like if I if I if I if I miss something, I could just go go back immediately. Yeah, and also you can play double speed. <laughs> that, that is usually what I do. You can double speed, and you save time. Uh, shall we start or wait a couple minutes? Uh, we'll wait. I will introduce you, of course.
Okay, maybe we can start. Let me also press the recording. Welcome everyone to Harvard CMSA Quantum Matter in Math and Physics Seminar Series. 欢迎大家来到哈佛大学的量子 Seminar Series. We are very happy and honored to invite Professor Hao Yu Guo from KITP. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Hao Yu Guo from Harvard University currently is a KITP graduate fellow. As you, you may know, he already did several interesting work. Today, he will be speaking about full non thermal hole effect from scattering of dynamical defect. Let me remind the audience, please feel free to interact or ask questions during the talk when you find the appropriate time. And just in case there are audience watching from Ukraine, Russia, or Belarus, my heart, uh, my heart is with you, uh, peace. So let us directly welcome how you, um, please take over, it's all yours. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, yeah, uh, thanks Julian for the introduction, although I'm, uh, I'm still a grad student instead of professor. <laughs> uh, you'll, be, you'll be professor very soon. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, today I will talk about uh, a full non-thermal Hall effect from, from a scattering of, uh, of a dynamical defect. So this work is in collaboration with, uh, with uh, Dashan Joshi, uh, who, who is a postdoc at Harvard, and my advisor, Subia Sashtev. Uh, the slides are... Oh, okay. Yeah. So let me talk about, uh, let me uh, introduce the, the, this, uh, this problem by, by talking about some, 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 some recent experiments. So thermal hall in fact has been emerging as a new, new probe to, to study those physics in those uh, strongly correlated materials uh, such, as, uh, such as cuprates. So it's basically the analog of, uh, of uh, electric hall effect is that if you, if you if you if you if you if if you if you uh, 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 if you drive a force in one direction, you can you you can you can you can you can see some current in the in the in the direction that's uh, perpendicular to it. So uh, so the the the, the interest in cuprates and thermal Hall effect started from from the pylon ring work by uh, by Louis Talipus group done by uh, Christian Nashetou. So what they did is they measured the thermal Hall effect in the in 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 the in, in whole dope cuprates. So uh, what they found is the following: is that uh, uh, is that if if you if you are in the high doping side in the thermal liquid uh, area, uh, everything seems to be behaving fine. Uh, the physics seems to uh, uh, be well described by by Whitman Francois. So. Uh, but but uh, something something interesting happens as long as you you, you dope uh, below the critical doping and into the the the, the, the slow gap region. So suddenly you can see that uh, when we are into the slow gap region at low temperature, the 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 some whole conductivity uh, ch uh, change change changes sign. So the sign in this experiment is fixed such that uh, the the positive sign it means that it is consistent with with one friend's law, and negative sign means that it's why is violating with one friend's law. So we can see that. Uh, Immediately into the slow gap, uh, there's a there's a stronger violation of Whitman friends law, and then and then kind of a violation uh, uh, persists uh, down 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 into the uh, into the insulator region. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. So uh, another thing to mention is that. Uh, uh, such, such, such kind of uh, negative thermal hole uh, response, it, it doesn't depend on whether you're in the anti chromatic insulator or not. So, so therefore, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, so therefore this is a kind of a, a heat carrier is, is probably not, not magnets uh, because outside of anti chromatic phase, the magnets are gapped. And also because of this violation of uh, whitman friends law is also not, not likely to, to be due to electrons. So basically, the, the, therefore, the guess uh, now is that the, this uh, heat carrier might be some kind of a emergent excitation or, or just phonons. So, uh, so, so, lately, so later, they, they, they did a, they did a con, con, uh, concluding experiment that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, settled down this issue that the, the phonon is actually the heat carrier uh, or in, in those group rates. So, so what I did is the following: they 
they they they they they normally measure the somehow factor in the x y plane kappa x y uh, in in the plane of, of the of of the two D cuprate, but but also in the in the in the plane kappa y z. So so what happens is that uh, when you're in the Fermi liquid uh, regime, the uh, the uh, there's only a kappa x y response. Kappa y z is zero. So that makes sense because uh, uh, if you assume only electrons are are, are active here, then then the, the electrons in cuprates are pretty 2D, so they cannot move, move in those in those uh, in those, those uh, vert vertical directions. So uh, kappa y z is uh, zero. Uh, sorry, I forgot to turn on the pointer. Uh, and then, and then, and then, when you when you will go into the slow gap regime, you you immediately see that both both, uh, both kappa x y and kappa y z will 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 will, 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 do, will develop a non true uh, non non true response. And then, if you go go deeper into the insulator region, you see the kappa y z and kappa x y are 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 mostly equal to each other. So. Uh, as we know, there are only phonons uh, in cuprates could, could, could have such a such a large mobility in the z direction. So that that, that experiment uh, basically concluded that uh, uh, we should look at phonons. And, and later, uh, they they have they have also 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 done done, done experiments in several other materials, uh, uh, including this uh, uh, anti ferromagnetic insulator as well as uh, as, as well as uh, electron dope cuprates. So that they all see this uh, kind of a, a very very large small effect like that, that 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 can be uh, attributed to phonons. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, maybe it helps to explain more about the data. I think maybe a lot of people cannot read the experimental data as easily as you do, if you want to say uh, a bit. Uh, yeah, okay, let me say, okay. Uh, right, so uh, here, for example, in this electron dope cuprates, they basically try to, uh, yeah, they basically measure, the, I think, uh, uh, yeah, they just measure the, like both the longitudinal smoke activity as well as those, uh, uh, Hawk activity uh, at, the, at the at a fixed magnetic field and uh, at the, at, the, at different dopings. So you can see that basically at, at, at all dopings there is a, uh, there 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 is a there is a negative response of kappa x y, uh, which I, I I believe by their convention means that the violates with friends friends has the wrong sign. And and uh, similar things, uh, so they, they, they see similar measurement in such an anti ferromagnetic insulator. But here, there there is no, uh, there there is no no uh, uh, there is no William friends law because uh, there is an insulator for electrons. So, but but they still see a, a pretty large uh, value of kappa x y. And right, so I guess uh, yeah, I guess uh, uh, yeah. Here I try to summarize what was happening for those in in those experiments uh, for those uh, audience. Uh, who are not, not interested in, in reading those data in detail. Uh, right, so basically uh, uh, in those experiments, uh, we have seen that there are some whole effects uh, 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 that, that's observed both in whole dope group rates and electron dope group rates, and as well as uh, those uh, 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 antiferromagnetic insulators. So, so there are several uh, features in those, those, those experiments that, 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 that actually can be uh, Count as a as a evidence is pointing to phonon uh, heat conduction. So uh, uh, first thing is that uh, kappa x y uh, uh, in many of those cases they the violates the Whitman Friends law. So that means that the heat carrier is no electrons. And also uh, uh, in in those data, uh, when when you when when you when, when you tune the ten temperatures through through the new order temperature, uh, the the kappa x y that that doesn't have any feature at that temperature. So it means that it is, it is not, not, not sensitive to this new ordering. Uh, that means that uh, it is not phonons. It is non magnons sorry. And, and, and then in, in those, in those exp experiments done in cuprates, they measured uh, both kappa yz and kappa xy, and they found they, they to be, uh, to, to be at, at, a, at a similar order of magnitudes. So uh, in cuprates, only phonons could, could could move freely in the z direction, so that, that uh, that's a pretty concluding evidence. And another evidence is uh, to try to 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 
to, to, to look at this ratio of kappa xy over kappa xx, you will find that in, in all these materials, it, it's kind of a, it is all at a, at a very similar uh, order, which is a 10 to the minus three. But then it is known that in those materials, uh, the, the heat conduction is like, uh, in this temperature range is actually dominated by phonons. So this kind of uh, uh, somewhat universal ratio uh, also also signals that the uh, uh, phonons might, 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 be, might be responsible for the Hall effect. Right. So uh, so uh, based on on, on, on these experiments, so so theoretically, we want to we want to build a theory for phonon uh, thermal Hall effect. So so basically, uh, theoretically, we need to uh, answer uh, two sets of questions. So so so, so first one is that uh, we know that to have Hall effect, you need to break the time reversal symmetry. So 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 how how is this time reversal symmetry breaking uh, happening for phonons? So uh, so some, 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 some earlier proposal was some, 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 some effective field theory the, the description that's uh, called the phonon hall viscosity that I will talk about later. Uh, but that turns out to not to work so well for corporates. And, and, then our, our, and then in this work, our proposal is to consider the phonons can, can, can start to scatter on, on some dynamical defects uh, in, the, in, in corporates, uh, name, namely some kind of a spin defects. And okay, then okay. Given you have some kind of uh, time reversal symmetry breaking, then the second question to ask is how how do you how do you actually get a thermal Hall effect? So basically, that the, the second set of question to answer is that how how do you, how do you cal calculate the thermal Hall effect for for a particular uh, phonon system? So there there are there are there are, are, are several uh, there are there are several categories of, of contributions uh, which are called a. Uh, uh, Barry curvature, school scattering, and side jump, uh, which I will discuss later. And also, uh, uh, there, there is a, 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 a complication for thermal Hall effect uh, complications, which is called a, a, an a energy mechanization that we'll, that we'll also discuss. Uh, excuse me. Yes. You mentioned earlier the dynamical defect. So is that uh, different from, for example, like a condo effect or like an impurity of spins? Is, is, is that because it, it's it, it is a it is a impurity of spins, but just like the, but it's just like that. Uh, you, you you need to consider the 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 the, the, the internal uh, energy levels of that spin. Like it has two states, uh, 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 up and down, and then there, there is a, and then there is a, this uh, this uh, resonance scattering between phonons and spins that that will they will be contributing to Hall effect. So what do you mention? Uh, emphasize dynamical layer or the dynamical spins. Oh, dynamical defect, sorry. So dynamical defect is uh, opposed to like the 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 the, the usual kind, kind kind of a disorders we we write for for electrons, which is just a a, a, a random potential that, that that has no no dynamics. So what I mean, but but for for a spin impurity, it has a, it has some kind of dynamics. If 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 you, if you put a if you put a magnetic field there, you will you will for example you will, you will possess a, around the magnetic field. Thanks. Yeah, so let me talk about the, the first question. So how, uh, what was our proposal for turning was the symmetry breaking for, for phonons? So in the, so, so in, in earlier, in earlier studies in this field, so I think people are using some kind of uh, 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 effective field theory uh, approach for phonons. So basically the, the reasoning is the following. So uh, in this, in this low temperatures, only, uh, only, only acoustic phonons are important. So we assume that the, the, those, those, those acoustic, acoustic phonons are the, are the only important that they could solve reading in our, in our problem. So we, we so to, 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 to describe as a time result symmetry breaking, we just uh, uh, you use and write down some, some, some effective field theory uh, for these phonons that, 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 uh, that break a time result symmetry. So the, the leading order term that could be right, written down is uh, what's this, this term called the uh, 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 phonon phonon Hall viscosity. Uh, so I uh, so as first thing to uh, there there's a, the first misunderstanding about this this thing is that it is actually not a viscosity, uh, not in the sense that it, it has has anything to do with the high high hydrodynamics or, or momentum diffusion and so on. The only connection to viscosity is that uh, 
the, the dimensionality of this parameter eta h and eta m, they, they have the same dimensionality as, as with those things. And right, so this uh, this, this uxx and uh, uxy, they, they are they are they are they are they are, they are, they are the, the string tensors for the, the for the full non field, and then this mmx mxy is the is the is the vorticity tensor for the full non. So as you can see, it, it, uh, this term is still uh, uh, is still uh, quadratic in the full non field. So uh, it's, uh, it's kind of the 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 the, the 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 first the most relevant term they could write down that breaks time was also true. And 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 uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, microscopically such so, such such kind of uh, uh, coupling theta h and theta m they could uh, arise if you if you if you try try to uh, couple uh, uh, couple the the, the 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 spin dynamics say say the the magnets to the to the phonons. Uh, for example, they they are, they are they are calculated in this following two references. But uh, what's found in all those computations is that uh, the such a kind of uh, a whole whole with Gaussian that, that that could contribute to the some Hall effect. Uh, yeah, yeah, it actually requires some some kind of a, a, a some 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 great some degrees of a spin a spin orbit coupling in the in the in the spin sector. But we know that in Kubrick's this spin orbit coupling is pretty weak, so it's uh, probably not. Uh, it's probably not ideal to 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 apply it to Kubrick's. So, right. Uh, so so here 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 comes our our proposal is to is is to can consider is to 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 try try to include the some some more degrees of freedom into this problem. So that 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 means that may make, make a make. Make a may may including some defects which which has some kind of dynamics is our new degrees of freedom, and and so so to to formulate our our problem, what we were first thinking is that we, we want we, we want to have a theory that that can that that that, that could explain why the why the sum of effect is nearly isotropic, namely kappa x y is nearly equal to kappa y z. So. So the the, the 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 natural thing we thought about is that uh, okay then this kind of uh, uh, I, 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 isotropic response could be could arise if 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 you just consider a single 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 spin there that that that, that is polarized by some Zeeman fields, uh, for example. Uh, and so that, let me you 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 have some kind of uh, uh, isolate isolated uh, magnetic spin moments are sitting there, and then when when the spin is is polarized by by some by some external fields then. And phonons to scatter on the spins, the the the, the response will, will be guaranteed to to be uh, to be to be nearly isotropic. So so uh, right. So 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 that 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 defect, say for example, as a drawn here. So this is uh, the model we're considering. For example, a, a, a couple letter uh, anti and uh, here uh, at this side, this spin is missing. Then 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 this remaining spin will will. will Will, will be treated as a defect. Then, then, then the, the, the defect spin, they, it will, it will, it will both, both couple to its nearby spins, uh, as well as, as well as to the full nodes that they are sitting on, because because uh, we assume it, 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 it's fi it, it, it is fixed to the lattice, so it's, it can only also couple to full nodes. And then, uh, as as we have seen in those, those experiments, that, that the magnets are, are not important for this problem, so we can we can just assume that there are no no magnets no no magnets at all. Meaning that those 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 nearby ma 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 magnetic order is actually frozen. So, so uh, and uh, another good thing about about dealing with this uh, this uh, spin uh, this uh, spin defect problem is that uh, uh, we 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 only we only need to need to consider the the the, the local magnetic order around that defect spin. It means that uh, we 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 doesn't require that there there are actually some kind of if there is some 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 global near order or, or not, we just need that there. Uh, we just need to assume that the the, the magnetic order around that defect is somehow polarized, uh, which is a, a pretty natural assumption. So the so physical the thermal Hall effect will, will will arise from 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 a, a, a resonant scattering process between the phonons and the defects. Oh, excuse me. Yes. So what? Just make sure. So, are you going to study maybe the dependence of a doping of 
respect to some quantity for this system or how do you choose uh, the effects? No, yeah, yeah. So I'll, uh, I cannot do this thing in detail, but here's something I want to appeal to, which is the, which is, which is the, the, which is the spin glass physics in Kruppwitz. So, right. So, uh, so yeah, so one, 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 one important question you might ask is, of course, like what, 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 what is the 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 local magnetic order in those incorporates? So we we cannot we cannot answer this question theoretically for now. But what we can do is is to connect it to 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 another set of experiments, which is those kind of uh uh MMR and 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 the ultrasound experiments down incorporates. So what what they found is that there 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 is a there is a there is a, a spin gas uh, behavior in the in in the group rates, uh, in in the in the, in the slow gap region, and they found that as long as you 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 put a high high enough high enough magnetic field to to to, to suppress the smooth activity, you will find that the boundary of the spin gas uh, uh, of the the spin gas region is actually it co co coincides with with the with the critical doping of the slow gap phase. So it is uh, pretty clear that uh, that, uh, that, uh, that 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 these two behaviors are correlated. And then uh, we'll later see in our theory uh, the result of the thermal computation is that uh, the the to get a non-zero thermal Hall effect, the the local ma 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 magnetic order the, it, it should be non-coplanar. And then and then and then we and then we just assume that this such a such a, a non-coplanar local magnetism. Uh, it's 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 actually due 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 to the spin glass physics in the in the pseudo gap group. Uh, just assuming that the when you enter a spin glass, the the spins they are all randomized. So it's it's natural to assume that the the, the local order is is non coplanar. Yes. So yeah. So to be concrete, so so here, so finally, we can come to the model that that we are, we are trying to solve. So our model consists of a, a, phone, a phonons defect and and, and and a coupling between them. Oh, so the me. Sorry, yes. very naive. Uh, do you do, do people use maybe now right? Uh, use all the parameter to describe the spin glass phase? Or oh, no, probably not. Yeah, I, I just... yeah it's uh, if you want to want really do it, what is called a uh, uh, Edwards uh, Anderson order parameter. That uh, it's kind of the the it's kind of, it's kind of the 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 auto the auto correlation function of of uh, uh, of uh, 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 auto correlation function uh, of the spins at at, at a very long time. If, if this is non-zero, it means that the the the, the, the spins are kind of frozen. If there's some glassy behavior, but uh, but in our problem, we we are just taking a a, a a, 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 a much more much more simpler approach is that you just assume that here there there are some the, the, the nearby spins they're all frozen so it 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 it, it, it is some some kind of a some some kind of a ground ground state of a, of a spin system so it could it could, it could also be some ground state of, of a ferromagnet it could be ground state of ferromagnet ferromagnet or or some spin glass but it just turns out that if you have a ferromagnet or anti ferromagnet you don't have a thermal Hall effect but uh, if you have a spin glass such that the, the the, the spin configuration around it is non coplanar you do get some more hoist. So the relation between non coplanar magnetic order and uh, the spin glass is solely in relation to the thermal Hall effect. Is that uh, the logic? Uh, How do you yeah. relate the two? Yeah. Logic is uh, thermal Hall effect uh, and then non coplanar magnetism and then spin glass. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. So, yeah. So our phonon dynamics is just the usual, uh, usual, uh, acoustic phonons. So here, here, this is the the ion, the 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 i the the i the ion momentum at at lattice i p, and this u is the lattice uh, displacement. C is the uh, elasticity matrix, and then as we will later see that uh, if you if you, if you if you if you assume that the phonons have have uh, have 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 infinite lifetime, the, the, 
the connectivity you get will diverge. So we also try to uh, regularize, regularize the, this divergence by, 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 by putting some, some, some dissipation terms for this who knows by hand. Uh, namely, just, just, just to, 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 put a, to, to, to put a lifetime for this who knows in the self-energy. So, okay, the, 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 the defect is uh, we are just assuming it's, it's a single spin, a uh, two-level system it is described by, 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 by polymetric signal. Because we assume that all, all, the, all those, all those uh, the, the nearby spins around the defect is frozen. So the, 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 the dynamics of this defect is that the, the defects will, 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 will couple those, those nearby spins by some kind of uh, uh, exchange interaction. But then, then, and then, and then it, it will be uh, polarized by its environment. So this, uh, this, uh, this parameter, epsilon zero, is the polarization gap. Um, and here we want to emphasize that our, our theory uh, does not depend on the on the spin uh, spin orbit uh, spin orbit coupling in the spin sector. That means that uh, the the you you can do, that means that our, our our problem actually has a has a uh, 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 has a spin a spin uh, SU two rotation symmetry. Uh, so. Uh, the, 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 uh, if, you, if you ignore the coupling for the defects, so that means that the the, the, the spin space space direction one two three is is is, is actually decoupled from, from from the roots from the from from the the, the real space directions uh, x y z. Okay, and then okay, and then the final ingredient is the the, the coupling between the the phonons and the defects. So. So the, the the this kind of cut coupling is uh, derived from this kind of uh, uh, bone stretching uh, constructions of the Heisenberg uh, exchange coupling, and we will assume there are both a nearest neighbor coupling as well as uh, next to nearest neighbor couplings. So uh, we we'll, we we'll assume the uh, all lattice symmetries uh, except uh, translation are broken. So therefore, we we just we just want to. So the only thing we assume is that those phonons they, they are they, they, they are still soft that they are not, not, not gapped by, by this defect, and and therefore the the, the, the most general coupling of right is just all of the following form with some with some with some, some coefficients k i j l. Right. So this is the model that we that we try to calculate. So the, the second set of question is the how. How, how do we actually compute the thermal connectivity for, for such a model? So yeah, so in our problem, the, the phonons are still assumed to be some uh, some well-defined positive particles. So it's a, it, it is a, it is a good to talk, talk about how do you compute the whole, whole effects for for positive particles. So this this there there is a there there is a, a a rich literature for such computations for electrons uh, that that. Uh, Concerning our normal side effects and for phonons is not that different. So, uh, so for for quasi particles, it's a contribution to to how if, uh, how effect that can be classified into three categories. So the, the first one is this so called the intrinsic contribution, uh, which is also it is due due to the the, the barrier curvature of that particle. Uh, it is uh, yeah, and then yeah, and I I don't need to explain too much about barrier curvature like this. Yeah, and then uh, another, uh, another thing that that is uh, that is uh, widely studied in literature is uh, it is called school scatter. So it, it is uh, it is uh, demonstrated by, by the picture here. It means that when 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 a, when a particle you get gets scattered, the 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 the, the it's 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 uh, it's uh, it's uh, its momentum will get will, will get changed. Then for for a for 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 a, and then this 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 this, this, this moment and change is in, in such a way that 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 it breaks the time reversal symmetry. Uh, however, uh, our, our paper will, will focus on on a mechanism that that is uh, that is a uh, uh, that is a bit being less started. Uh, uh, that's not a study so much. It's called side jump. So the, so side jump refers to for, in, for, uh, refers to the following process: is that uh, when 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 a particle scatters, uh, no 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 only its its momentum will get kicked, but but, but also it's it, it's a, it's it's a, it's a center of mass position will will will, will actually uh, also get shifted due, due, due during the scattering, and then and then and then this kind of a shift can 
can be realized implemented in a way that that breaks time resource symmetry. And then it is an, another contribution to Hall effect. Yes, and uh, yeah, so for, for quasi particles, uh, it is uh, it is justified to 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 to, 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 to describe a transport using both both main equations. So so then basically, it is just uh, this kind of a different country, uh, three different categories of mechanisms that can be uh, can be classified as the left hand side, or right hand side of the both main equation. So on the left hand side, there there, there is a uh, this turn in, in the and there is this a. Uh, uh, on on enormous velocity term, which is uh, due to the very curvature of the. Uh, yes. Yes, question. I'll make sure. Uh, can you go back one slide with you? So the system, the theory you have is the uh, phonon and defect scattering, correct? Yes. And phonon is spin one, and it's massless, so just massless gapless spin one mode, and coupled to defects or some interaction. Uh... Right. But phonon doesn't have spin. I'm not sure if, what you mean by spin one. Well, is it, well maybe not. But, so it's a, it's a boson, right? Yeah, but just the three, three, three flavors of bosons, I guess. Uh, there's no, 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 no. There's no, 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 there's no Lorentz spin. Yeah. So Lorentz spin zero. Uh, and, yeah. what's the, and what's the internal symmetry for those phonon? Uh, yeah, I guess essentially no symmetry, no no non particular symmetries that's associated with them. But but what what is the component of degree of modes? There is a direction x y z. Uh yeah, there is like a yeah there is like a, a one longitudinal phonon and two transverse phonon. Yeah, you could still talk about their polarization uh, if you okay. Like. So, so in a sense, it's not really massless, right? Or is massless? Uh, it, is, it is mass. It is it is soft. It, it doesn't have a gap. Uh, okay. And there's no internal symmetry associated with. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is not a. It is not a, a gauge field, so it could have. It okay. can have a longitudinal component. And then in this language, how do you phrase the defect? Are there some internal symmetry SU2 or SO3 something? Uh, no, mean? actually all these symmetries, they, all these uh, whoopee symmetries are actually all kind of broken. Like right. it, I, could, I would consider a SU2 doublet, but it's a, a defect is a SU2 doublet with yes. this SU2 symmetry broken. So the two levels are don't have okay. this advantage. But it's a SU2 doublet. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Right. Yeah, so uh, this, uh, yeah, this barrier curvature contribution is on the left-hand side of the Boltzmann equation. And then on the right-hand side of the Boltzmann, and then there's another, uh, another, another uh, contribution to velocity that's related to side jump. Then on the right-hand side of the, the collision turn, there are also two contributions that, cor that cor correspond to screw scattering and, uh, as well as side jump. So, uh, so, 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 uh, so, uh, this kind of a both both main equation approach has been very successful in studying Hall effects. Uh, for example, in for 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 for, for anomalous Hall effects in this paper, it has they 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 they, they did a computation uh, using both this uh, semi-classical both main equations uh, as well as the, the microscopic Kubo formulas, and they found that uh, and they found that they, 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 this uh, they, this three, three categories of uh, Semi classical mechanisms can 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 be can 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 be classified into into three three sets of different Feynman diagrams. And they they are they 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 are the the contributions that just uh that just uh, just uh, just match with each other. Yeah, so okay, so let me talk about the first uh, contribution, which is the 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 which is the the the, the intrinsic contribution. So for example, you can just uh, be written as some kind of integral that is the as a barrier curvature of the phonon bands, uh, so 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 this this, uh, this contribution in our model we assume it's pretty small. So because uh, when when you when 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 you when when you we are ignoring we are assuming this phonon defect coupling is uh, essentially weak, and then when you have no uh, phonon defect coupling, you just have the usual acoustic phonons which which has no barrier curvature. So 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 all these coverage so this barrier curvature they must be be induced by this uh, phonon defect coupling, and it is actually pretty weak. 
and 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 weaker. I mean, they, it, it is not enhanced by the mean free pass of the phonons. Yes. So uh, a, a second potential uh, potential interesting contribution is called a school scattering contribution. It may just miss that the, the the scattering rate of the uh, of uh, of uh, in the Boltzmann equation is not symmetric. Uh, so, for example, uh, the, for example, if you if you if you treat the, those those deep excess scattering in the in the in the bronze approximation. Uh, what you found is that it will it will it will it will it will, it will emerge at the, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the third order of the in the in the in the in, in the in this uh in this uh, phonon defect coupling or or the disorder potential and 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 uh, actually such kind of uh, uh, a a resonant school scattering contribution for a phonon defect problem has been has been studied. Uh, by uh, Xiao Qi Sun, uh, Jing Yuan Chen, and uh, Stephen Kilson in this uh, in, in this paper. So, right. So what they found is that uh, for if you, if you want to want to have uh, have a resonant uh, phonon phonon defect scattering, uh, that 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 will that, 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 that will that will happen at the fourth order of a phonon defect couple. So, but but what they found is that they for for such a kind of uh, resonant scattering happen, you will. You 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 need at least a three-level system for the defect that uh, that that you have a a, a ground state and a, and a, and a, and a, and a and a excited uh, tablet which which breaks the time reversal symmetry and 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 they, they, therefore their, their story is uh, that, that doesn't apply too much to our the problem we are start, uh, starting because because we are considering the, the, the defect to be a two-level system. So so there there so so there 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 is no uh no no uh resonance school scattering in our model. And another problem with uh with uh with uh, this uh school scattering contribution is that the uh, the if you if, if if you try to calculate the the scattering rate of the of the phonons it it, uh, it turns out that it 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 it, 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 it tends to have a have a have a inversion type parity that's even, but then but then a even parity scattering rate can, cannot contribute to uh, to the to the to the to a to a Hall effect. So uh, therefore, to remedy this issue, you 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 either need need, 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 need to include uh, include them, uh, include at least two defects, such that you need some interference between between two nearby defects, or 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 you require that the the the, the uh, I think the 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 full the full non-band structure to to, to break some emotion symmetry. And 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 right, and Another feature of their theory is that when when because because because, because this kind of scattering is 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 resonantly enhanced, so and then the the final result of the whole effect uh, 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 actually uh, uh, that, that that doesn't depend depend on the coupling constant between the phonon and the effect. Right, but I but anyway, it is uh, it it requires at least three levels, so it's not too relevant to that story. Another question. Yes. Nine point. Just make sure. I think earlier when you mentioned Berry curvature, uh, this is a Berry curvature of the phonon in the background of the magnetic impurity, magnetic order. Is that right? Yeah. And yeah. yes. So, can you compare this to like maybe the more usual case of a electron in the background of the magnetic order? Maybe maybe you already explained in your final graph, but I think that's kind of quick for me. I don't really get what what is special about this very curvature than others. Maybe there are some features you can comment. Yeah, it is. Um, mm. And also the final graph. Let me just make sure the the phonon is the dash line, right? The uh, phonon. Yeah, oh. I'll, 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 I'll go into that later when I talk about phonon diagrams. Yeah. And right, so for yeah, I guess for very curvature that doesn't. In terms of those formulas, it's not that different from electrons, but like uh, just uh, I guess we are asking like uh, physically how is that different from from the electron case? Yeah, yeah. I think the yeah. electron case is usually what happens is that uh, for a normal Hall effect, usually we will study it is uh, the um, it is just uh, the 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 kind of uh, very curvature usually comes from the electron structures. Uh, at 
the at the Zeus order of any kind kind, kind of perturbation. Like just, just just look at the best structure itself. It, 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 it already has some kind of a, a very curvature there. But another problem, just like that, uh, uh, at Zeus order, there, 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 there's no barrier curvature for the phonons because these are just the usual acoustic phonons that doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, causal symmetry breaking if you don't if you don't put uh, other interactions. And let me make sure the the solid line in your. Feynman graph, what does it represent? I think the phonon is the dash line, is that right? Or, or the opposite way? Uh, like, oh, you mean, you mean this one diagram? Yes. Oh, th 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 these are for electrons. So th this is just, uh, oh, okay. uh, yeah, this is this is not due to phonon. But, but then you are discussing the case of a phonon and uh, the- Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's just because like uh, for this literature of uh, of uh, studying those semi-classical effects, it's, it's the, all the previous literature are for electrons. So I cannot find other pictures. But you are going to do calculation for the yeah the calculations for phonons uh, for the make for the yeah phonon okay yeah I'll I'll, I'll show you what the payment diagrams are for phonons okay thanks oh yeah oh, okay this is just another cartoon demonstrating the difference between a school scattering and a side jump yeah so yeah school scattering just means that the the yeah school scattering just means that the the, the 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 momentum get the get, get the back to the side jump means that it's a, it's a, it's a position get shift. So right, so for example, for for the for the side jump of electrons, is that the uh, the story goes like the semi classical story goes like the following. It's like uh, it's like if you if you if 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 you if you try try to solve the Schrodinger equation carefully for 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 electron with uh, with band structure and then the count. And so solve the shopping equation for scattering. You can find that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's position is getting shifted by uh, before and after scattering uh, by the uh, by 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 the by, by the following formula. So 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 such, such a kind of coordinate shift that will have a, will have a two kinds of effects uh, in turn in, in in terms of Boltzmann equation. So the first uh, is that uh, because this coordinate shift uh, the 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 energy of the particle is no 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 longer conserved. As because when when you are trying to compute transport, you will you will, you will put a force to, to 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 drive that particle. But then during the scattering, because it's a it's a the position is getting shifted, and and then and there 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 there, there this this work down 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 down, down by the external driving force. So the energy is no longer conserving. So you 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 you, you need to uh, you need to co correct the, the the collision term for the uh, uh, in, in the Boltzmann equation. So. Uh, uh, a second uh, way you could modify the Boltzmann equation is that uh, uh, because 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 you you have uh, you you have, because you have this uh, coordinate shift and both scattering, then 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 uh, suppose you, you you have some kind of scattering events that are constantly happening, then then associated with with this kind of scattering, the 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 the, 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 the electrons that they are actually jumping, so 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 associated with this jumping, there there, there is a new term in the in the in the, in the velocity term, so. These are two ways the, the side side jump could, could, could contribute to Hall effect. Yeah, so yeah, so the story before was for electrons. So what happens with phonons? So for for phonons, the problem is that we we cannot we 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 we, 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 we actually can, can, cannot can, cannot calculate the, 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 the shift of position delta r because. Uh, because there, there, there's no no notion of, of a coordinate of a phonon in in, in this kind of uh, uh, in in this uh, in this phonon problem, like uh, because the four phonons are, 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 are collective motions of the ions, and we you cannot define where the phonon is, although you could define a momentum for it. Yeah, and also there is some ambiguity is that we are computing thermal transport. So so how so how 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 do you how 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 how, how is that the energy weighted? Into the side jump formula. So yeah, so the the, the contribution, the, the, the solution to this problem is to 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 instead of using Boltzmann equation to, to use Feynman diagrams. So it turns out that the, the, the side jump Feynman diagram uh, they correspond to the following thing. So so here here on the left and right there is the energy vortex for energy current vortex for the phonons. 
and then in the in the in, in between you 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 could have a, whatever scatterings or you like. Then the, the family diagrams that could be classified into side jump is such that uh, uh, it's such that it's such that uh, uh, one of the energy current vertex is 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 is, is interband and the other one is 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 is, uh, is, is interband. Is that one 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 pair of indices are, are equal. Yes. Okay. And okay. And there, there's another issue that's associated with uh, with uh, with the computing thermal Hall effect. It's called the uh, it's called the uh, energy magnetization. So it is the fall. The issue is the following: is that uh, when when you when when you, when your system uh, breaks time was all symmetry, uh, there, 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 there there can be can be, can be currents even in the thermal equilibrium, and 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 and, and, and these currents they are called the so. They are the so-called uh, 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 magnetization current of the sample. So, so and then, and then, and then if, if, you, if you try to compute the say thermal Hall effect using Kubo formula, you will find that it's actually wrong. Uh, the issue is it's wrong because uh, uh, the Kubo formula, the currents you are using are are, are, are those uh, microscopic currents that, that, that actually include both both the both the so-called transport current as well as the this, this kind of magnetization current. But as you can see, this, this kind of magnetization current is a curl of some magnetization. So it doesn't contribute to transport. So the the the, the Kubo formula calculation is wrong. Then you then you 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 will you 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 will ha, ha, have to correct that result by some by 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 this um, uh, the heat magnetization density. And, and another issue that makes the thing worse is that the 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 the, 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 the magnetization currents they 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 they, they doesn't have a have a, have a, have a, have a, a, a absolute value. Uh, meaning that it, all 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 the all all the best that you could derive for those magnetization currents is a differential equation for them. But then but then for this differential equation, you you you. You when you when you integrate them, you 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 will you will get an integration constant for those for those magnetization currents for those magnetization densities. And then it turns out that this kind of uh, integration constant ambiguity is 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 is, is actually uh, it, it, it is actually intrinsic. So there, there's no way to remedy that. So there so therefore this kind of uh, uh, thermal hook activity is therefore no is, is therefore a a a so called uh, uh, relative transport coefficient. So what it means is that to compute the thermal hook effect, you need to do the following thing. So you 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 need to start from for a reference system, and then you could say that for example, it doesn't break time with symmetry, so so it, it doesn't have any any some whole activity. Then then you will you will need to find a path in in the parameter space that the that, that, that connects that the reference system to the system you want to study, and then you you need to con con compute those 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 uh, those, uh, those those differential equations for for all the systems in 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 this parameter in this path on the in the parameter space. And 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 they integrate the the, the the differential equation. So in general, the the, uh, the thermal Hawk, thermal Hawk connectivity computations are very hard. Yes. So so yeah. So for so for our problem, we are we are we are, we are, we are actually following this path to to to, to choose a parameter and then, and then integrate it along it in the parameter space. So to to to. To 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 derive such a such a differential equation for the for the thermal Hall connectivity, there are actually a two ways. So so there 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 is a, there there are some older ways, which is to which 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 is to 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 work with some continuum field series. But uh, the issues with with, with these formalisms is that uh, it 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 it, uh, it assumes that the the, energy, the the particle current and energy current they they, they have to that they have to transform in a particular way when 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 a system is is, is, is coupled to gravity, uh, but 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 this condition is uh, is 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 too strong for 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 a, for, a, for arbitrary interacting system. So the the formalism we are using is a new formalism that's uh, developed by by Spodineko and uh, Kapustin. So it 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 is a it is a a a a a a a a a lattice formalism that 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 could ensure that could essentially uh apply to 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 any theory. Yeah. So 
ingredient of that the last form is the following. So basically, we assume that the, the Hamtonian or lattice it, it can it can be, be it can be uh, it can be, uh, it can be uh, composed into into a sum of of, 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 of a set of local terms uh, that is centered around each point in the lattice. And then when these two points are separated far apart, uh, the, the Hamtonian densities will commute. Then, then, then from, from the Heisenberg equation, you will find that the, the energy current uh, is uh, which, which mathematically is the two the two chain is actually is actually uh, defined uh, uh, pretty easily as, a, as 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 the commutator between between the, the Hamiltonian densities. So right, and then and then you 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 and then, and then you you and then you you, you 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 see this kind of a uh, current operator. You you can actually uh, write on the, the total current between two regions in the lattice. Uh, by, by, by just some summing over p and q uh, in, in in this uh, in, the, in these two regions uh, 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 separately right for example uh, if, if you want to ask uh, what is what is uh, what is what is the current that that that, that, that that's, that's, flow, that's flowing from from region region b to its outside you 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 could, you could, you could write down some formula like that. So the total, the total current is the following sum, and and then this, this function f it is just a it is just just a Hilbert size theta function that that, that is that's, that's supported on region B. And then for example, if you if you if you, if, 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 if you choose the following form of, of the of the function f to to be to to be to to be a Hilbert size theta function in the in the in the in the, in the, in the x coordinate, then then this uh, this 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 object j delta f is actually the it is it just, it's just the, the, the total current is, uh, flowing in the x direction? Yes, and uh, another good thing about about this uh, this this lattice form is, is you can show that this you can show that like uh, from mathematically that the the the, the, the mechanization is actually uh, there is it's a it's an intrinsic ambiguity in, in the mechanization in the mechanization. It's just a relate or, 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 or it's just some related to a to a to a to a non-trivial uh, second homology group of the of the controlled uh, chain chain complex on on the on the on the on on the on, on the lattice lambda. Yeah. So here is the formula that we'll be using to to compute the uh, uh, to compute uh, some whole some whole connectivity. So yeah. So so. So yeah, because 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 the sum of connectivity is is a, is a relative transport coefficient, all you can write down is it's it's uh, it's it, 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 it's derivative. That 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 derivative is in the parameter space of Hamiltonians, and there are two contributions. So the the, the first term is the usual kind of uh, the Kubo formula that you could write down. Then the the second term is the 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 the, the so called um, so called mechanization correction term that you could that that that, that, that you could compute. And then and and then this mechanization correction term turns out to be to be to be can 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 be written as some kind of the following combinations of some 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 correlation functions between the between the Hamiltonian density and the, and the, and the energy current. And by the way, that the, that formula is first found by Kitaev in his famous annual paper. Uh, right. Yeah. So yeah. So here is the Fermat diagrams of homonomes that that Jun has been 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 asking. So so it turns out it turns out that we just need to compute these following two sets of Fermat diagrams to to get the to get a side jump contribution to 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 some whole connectivity. So here is the is the 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 Fulman Green's function, which is just the 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 the, the, the center ones, and and here, a solid line is a is a is a full propagator, and then a dashed line is a, is a defect propagator, and this uh, this black dots are the full on defect coupling. And, and and on the left hand side, there is a on the on the left and the right, there there the energy current vortices for the full So 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 did this uh did this first uh, uh diagram is actually uh, it, 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 it corresponds to to a to a to a full interbank coherence. Uh, it's similar to the cyclon process for electrons. It just means that uh, the, 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 the wave functions for this phonons uh, of in different bands, there 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 are some some quantum coherence between them. And then this uh, this second type of, type of diagram is, is unique for phonons, uh, which is uh, 
which is uh, uh, which I call a, a, a full non-defect coherence. Because what it means is that there, there, there is actually a, a quantum coherence between, between the wave function of the defect, which is a two-level system, and, uh, and, 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 and the wave function of the full nodes, which, which, uh, which has, some, has many levels. So and then and then and then what we're, what we're doing is to 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 do a perturbation theory in, in the full non defect coupling gamma, and then it's also very convenient to to use to use to use this gamma as 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 a differentiation of the, as the differentiation parameter in, in the in the small conductivity because uh, because a, 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 per, a perturbative uh, parameter is uh, is a very uh, easy to integrate. Then we'll just assume that when there is no full non defect coupling when gamma is zero, there there there's a uh, the thermal hall uh, connectivity is zero, and then we just uh, integrate it from there. Right, and 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 uh, uh, for, uh, from such an analysis, we actually found that uh, uh, for 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 the cyclone process that, that were that they were interested in, it, 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 this uh, it, it, this energy magnetization correction actually it turns out to be not important. So the the the, the reason is uh, is uh, is, uh, is 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 related to the to the analytic structure of uh, of of the correlation function that we're looking at. So because because the, the mechanism correction itself is uh, it is it is, it is a, it's some kind of a, a, a st static correlation function. Uh, if you if you ever write down the Green's functions for for this kind of correlation function, you will find that its Green's function they are either all retarded or or, or all the ones. But compared to the the case of this side jump process. That, that that those fundamental diagrams they are pretty large because uh, there, there, there is exactly one pair of retarded or uh, the ones with Green's function they're multiplied together, and then when you integrate them you will you will you will, you will yield a, a large factor of one over gamma where gamma is the decay rate of the full node. Uh, for this mechanization for this mechanization current turn there is no this this enhancement so they turn out to be not important. Yeah, so finally here 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 is is the result of our of our analysis. So, uh, so here uh, I have written down all the parameters. So this uh, this epsilon zero here is the is, is the polarization gap of the defect, and this uh, this kij alpha are the, are the coupling constant between the phonons and the defects. And uh, the formula is uh, uh, written as here. Uh, Cl and Ct are the are the are the are the are the, are the, are the, are the, are the velocities of, of the different phonon polarizations. So if you if you uh, sketch this function out, it's just uh, it, it is uh, exponentially, it's exponentially small at low temperatures. And then when 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 the temperature is uh, comparable to the gap, there is a maximum, and then and then and then, and then it decays down to zero. Uh, right, and then here this is KL and KT. They, they are there are some some pretty uh, 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 complicated uh, co combinations of 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 of, of, of those complex coupling constants. So so some something we can tell is that the the, the structure here is partially fixed by. By the by by the by by the by the symmetry properties of the of the of the of kappa x y, for example, it, it should the kappa x y should, should be all the on the mirror symmetries r x and r y, so so there, there there should be all the numbers of of, of x and y, uh, in the system that's appearing, and uh, also the the kappa x y is 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 invariant under 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 rotation around the z s. So, so the so the combination here that I've written down is also uh, invariant. So, also want to uh, emphasize that here uh, there there is there's just the decoupling between the the real space directions and the spin space directions. So, so here we are measuring the kappa x y in real space, but then the the the, the magnetic border actually it, uh, polarizes the, the defect spin in in the three direction. So, so from from this form, we can see that it, it, it actually requires a a a a a a a a, 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 a non-complainer magnetic order to for it to be non-zero, because if you, if you look at its contributions, it's a, it, it's a, also it's a product of one and twos. So, so there there so to get to 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 get to get a, to get a coupling constant in the one direction, you 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 you, you must have, have have a spin that is polarized in that direction. Then uh, similarly for the for the for the two direction, and also we have assumed this. Uh, this uh this uh, is a defect spin is always in the three direction. So so therefore the the, the linear the, the linear combinations of this uh, a nearby uh nearby spin environment actually uh, spans the, the one two three direction. So it's a uh, non-complainer. 
And there, 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 there is there, there's a, 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 another another way to do that is to in, include some spin orbit couplet, uh, but this is not important in couplets. And also, we can we can we can we can we can cook up some some uh, some configurations that have a uh, that have some hard effects. That's that's a, that's a linear and then an external magnetic field. Is that you you start with a config some configuration that's coplanar, but then the the when we we, we put like external field to the system, then the then the 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 the, 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 the magnetic order will be canted and, and become become non coplanar. So then the the response will be linear in the external field. Uh, no, I have a question. Yes. So you separate the, this K into KT and the KL. Maybe you already explained, but what is the physics for KL and KT respectively, respectively, and also the CL and CT? Yes, yeah, CL, CL is the is the velocity of the the the, the longitudinal phonon. CT is the, the 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 velocity of the the transverse phonon. Yeah. So it just uh, means that you, you it's written in this form. You can see that they, you, you can. It's a separate contribution for longitudinal phonons and transverse phonons. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then in our paper, we also consider some, some, other, some, 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 some other type of models, for example, uh, this kind of uh, uh, rush bar type of coupling between the phonons and spins. But, but uh, so the, 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 the temperature dependence of that model is the same as the previous model. Uh, well, well, what's different is the, is the dependence on the, on the coupling constants. But, but, but this kind of model also, also requires the spin orbit coupling uh, in the spin sector. So it's not that, it's not that favorable when corporates. Yeah, another model is, is to, to compare, to, to, com, to, to compare with, the, with the spool scattering uh, model that they that, that started uh, uh, in, in the, uh, by, by Kibosan et al. So we are we are we are we are we are we are, we are considering the, the coupling of uh, phonons to some to some to some uh, to some orbital defects. So defect here, for example, is some kind of a, it is a, a it is a four level system. So there there is a ground state which is singlet, and then and then and then and then a, 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 a exactly state which is a triplet, and then and then it is it, it, the, the the degeneracy of the triplet. Is 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 by the by by the external field delta. So uh, you can we can we can, we can, we can also uh, apply our calculation for 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 such a system. Yeah. Yeah. So to summarize that. Yes. Just make sure since you already showed the figure. So why there is a dip near the t equal to zero for this figure? Yeah, it is just uh, what it is for for that model. It's just a. Uh, Related to the to the to the to the to the to the internal uh, internal uh, level level structures of, of that effect. Okay, does it does it uh, say something important compared to previous figures with oh, uh, Yeah, so we what, 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 what we think is applying to Cooper is that model, and the, the other two models are just uh, along, along the way. That we we. Consider some, some other possibilities, but what we think is uh, important for Cooper is that one. Uh, which one is important for Cooper? Uh, that one, that one. I'm sure the, the most complicated one. <laughs> On this one, yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So to, to summarize that our our model actually uh, re realize a a, a thermal Hawking factor with the following properties. So first uh, is that it is a uh, 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 uh, quasi uh, quasi isotropic, meaning that kappa x y and kappa y z should be should be similar to each other. So 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 this, this is because our model is, is is independent of the spin coupling, spin orbit coupling in the in the spin sector, and therefore the, the spin spread directions. Uh, are, are 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 decoupled from real space directions, so it doesn't doesn't matter in in in, the, in what direction we're evaluating the the Hawking activity. So so the the, the model we have is uh, is only on, 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 on only 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 scattering over a single on a single defect in in in, uh, in, in, in instead of multiple defects. And also uh, our, our model will 
will get to get non-zero uh, superhole effect of our model will 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 will, will require some kind of a non uh, uh, non-coplanar uh, quasi-static magnetic mag order, and 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 therefore we think that this is a uh, quite quite related to the to the spin glass physics in the solar gap coupling. And also the formula we have developed is actually quite general, and you could use it to 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 look at other systems. Yeah, that's uh, all for my talk. Uh, Thank you for attention. Uh, I can take questions. Thank you, Howie. Thank you for the wonderful seminar. Question from the audience. I think many people are waiting for this moment to ask. So please don't be shy and just ask now. It's your last chance. I have a question. So how is the curve comparing to the experimental data? Uh, yeah, that's a good question actually. But so we cannot make a uh, any direct comparing right now because it's still because our results still still depends on 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 the, on, on the, the, the coupling constants between the uh between the be, be, between the phonons and defects. So this is very very hard to 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 to, to calculate or, or or measure in the real system. So all, all we can say. Well, what we can say now is the following is that uh, we can we, we the, 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 the temperature dependence of that curve should, should have have the following shape which uh, does, doesn't look so far from from experiments and uh, another another thing that we can say is that uh, uh, if, we, if we if we look at look at how the how, how the how the phonon, how the phonon lifetime enters into this result it's uh, it is uh, it is it's proportional to the one over gamma phonon. So there, therefore, we uh, uh, another another conclusion we can draw is that if you if you if, if you compare this to the to the to longitudinal thermal conductivity of phonons, uh, you take take the ratios that the, the ratio should just shouldn't, should, shouldn't depend on the on the on the mean free path of the phonons, uh, which which seems seems uh, which seems uh, to match with the experiments because the the value is seem to to be universal in the in in those uh, in those materials that has, has been looked at. Thank you. Actually, do you have experimental data for this kind of curve? Exactly the this that you can compare. Uh, maybe you already show. I uh, just uh, yeah, like there there are those data in the in 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 in, in these introductions, but we we haven't we we we, we, have, we haven't tried to do seriously. Compare them because, uh, yeah, because because the, the, the real curve that they see the, 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 those experiments they they're they're it is a combination of multiple effects, like it is a, it is a it is it is a sum of of of, of all the, 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 the three systemic classical effects that I have mentioned. Then and in the in in and I think in in in, in, in they, they 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 are they are dominant for example in, in some. In some uh, in some different uh, temperature windows. Uh, for example, if you look at the, our curve here, it is uh, it is uh, exponentially small at uh, at low temperatures. But then, but then if if if, if you can try to compute the computations from from barrier curvatures, it's a it's a power law. So, for example, at very low temperatures, it, uh, our, 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 our our result will not be done. So the most prominent feature, I guess, is, is the peak that we, that we have seen here. And how about the scale, like the peak scale? Does that the... Uh, yeah, uh, that peak scale actually depends on, say, the, 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 the gap of, of the defect, which uh, we, we have no idea right now. But we can say that it's a, there's a constant that is independent of the 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 the, 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 the external fields. Thank you. Feel free. Any other comment, question, please. Anything. You know, this is also an encouragement for the speaker if you ask questions. Imagine you are the speaker. 
So the CO theory predicted that um, by changing the external field, the position of the peak doesn't change. Uh, yeah, that's so what is seen in the, in the experiments. But 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 our, but our theory is not the only. But 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 but, but this doesn't mean that our theory is the correct one because there could could, could be could, could be other mechanisms for, for such a peak to happen. For example, for example, there there, 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 there can be a peak for from from this uh, this uh, this uh, full lifetime gamma full and yeah we so so the I think guess the 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 better way to say is that if you if you if you if you just look at the ratio of cap x y over cap x x I think there 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 should be a peak that 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 that, that is a, independent of the field yeah that would be a there there would be a better way to test it thank you and um how can can this theory be applied to uh, a distribution of defects, like uh, a density of defects, not just a single defect? Oh yeah, so the formula I've written here is just for one defect. And I think uh, for many defects uh, as, uh, as a zero sort of estimation, you assume they are not interacting with each other. You just, uh, you just try to sum, sum, sum them all together. That means that you probably need to do some to do some averaging of, of 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 the formula in the in the in uh, again against the, the 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 probability distribution of the defects. Yeah, and um, how is the gap of the defect like? What does it depend? Yeah, it says. Uh, this is actually just a proportional to the sum of the of to the sum to the sum of all of the nearby spins, assuming that the spins they are all, they are all randomly uh, they are all, all randomized according to spin gas physics. Uh, right then, the, so yeah, so if we want to make any realistic uh, uh, quantitative uh, con 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 computations of these coupling constants. You have to, you have to uh, go through the, the spin gas physics, which is uh, which I believe right now is uh, still quite complicated, because the, the the best theory we have for spin gas is uh, is, is based on SYK model. Uh, SYK, but that doesn't apply to to a to a SU two spin. Thank you. But another naive question. I think uh, just to make sure you, you probably know better the work by Kapustin and Spodi Uh That work it seems like uh, they are proposing some derivation of a topological invariant. For yes, the they, yeah, that, that is, that is by assuming that the, the system is uh, is uh, is gapped. Gapped, yes. Yeah. So, so, so how well, is that? Yeah, how is that related to your work? Uh, you have full knowledge, so the system is not gapped. This means mm -hmm. that the, the thermal Hawking activity is not topological invariant, which mm -hmm. perfectly makes sense. Okay. But you mentioned they work because what do you try to do there? What do you mention? Uh... Yeah, it's just uh, it's more or less like a geometrical reason. Reason is that uh, their 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 formalism can 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 can, can, can apply to any system. Like uh, if you, it's just like uh, if you if you if you try to write write your energy current uh, as 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 a as a two chain uh, uh, instead of a instead of a vector few, then 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 you 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 could write down you could you could write down the formula for the for the for the for this uh, uh, energy mechanization for for arbitrary system without with without any special assumptions. Thank you. Okay, last call for the question if they, or comments, anything. All right. So if not, let us really appreciate how you to make this seminar possible and thank you, how you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>